On this channel, I don't often revisit games for challenge runs. There's so much to do, and so much to see, that going back to a game I already tortured myself over doesn't really seem appealing. But these games have more potential in them, and I'm never one to say no to a challenge. You know what? I'm, I'm actually getting pumped now. What, what, what game are we going to be coming back to? Pie of Hot Fever! <sighs> What else can even be done with Puyo Pop Fever? I already cleared this without Fever Mode, and I mean, Fever Mode is the whole point of the game. What else is left? Win by not dealing damage? Exactly. Obviously, we can't do that. You win Puyo by dealing damage. And winning with Fever Mode isn't hard, seeing how easy it is to set off a big chain and get Fever Mode. Getting into Fever Mode itself is easy when you know what, what to look out for. Oh. Hmm. Humor me for a minute, but what if we only did damage with Fever Mode? As in, the only time we can attack the opponent is by using Fever. The only time I can set off a chain is if they've already attacked, and I can't deal any damage to them unless I'm in Fever Mode. Yeah, 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 this is going somewhere. If, if, if they send me garbage and I offset, that doesn't do damage to them, that just builds up my fever mode. Yeah. Yeah. Are we ready? All right. Puyo Pop Fever. I'm gonna beat you at your own game. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can clear Puyo Pop Fever GameCube Edition featuring this English dub. <laughs> by attacking only in fever mode. Let's go. We'll be doing Hara Hara Hard for this one. I'm so Unlike last cool. time, I, I don't really see the need to do the lower difficulties. If we can clear this on the highest difficulty, on hard, of course, look at who you're talking about, then it stands to reason that we can do this on the lower difficulty modes. This does mean that there are some characters who I don't get to play the voice clips for, but... How uh, rude. We still fight you-know-who, so don't worry. <laughs> uh, anyway... For more details, check out my previous Puyo Pop Fever video. Clearly, I'm crazy enough to tackle this game twice, but not crazy enough to repeat certain details I covered in that video. Yes, this is a very, very shallow way to get my channel more viewing time, but at least I'm being honest about it, right? While onion. shouts about doing onion, onion. things, I'm going to bring up the most annoying part of this entire challenge. See, unlike Puyo Su, which has a universal drop set among characters, to say two Puyo will always drop no matter what, Fever not only has unique drop sets, but also different style of Puyo that drop. It could be two Puyo at once, three Puyo at once, or, annoyingly, four Puyo connected together at once. If we pop this blobby big boy with no garbage coming our way, we'll attack the opponent, losing the challenge. So we either have to wait for them to attack before dropping this four piece, or we have to build in a way where four Puyo don't connect. I just barely edge it out against uh, Not being able to set off long chains is hard, but as long as we group Puyo into isolated groups of three, for now at least, we'll be fine. Next. Uh-oh, Rafina's gonna say a bad word again. Mr. Goody Tushi. Anyway, the fight against Klug perfectly demonstrates why this is such a hard challenge. Right here, I get a two chain, nothing big, literally just a two chain, to counteract the garbage headed my way to activate fever. As you do. But I deal just too much damage, and instead of countering the hit, he takes three pieces of garbage Puyo. No, not, not three rows, literally just three pieces, that's it. And I have to SD and lose. Just as planned. But you know what? That has nothing on the total nonsense that happened versus Ocean Prince. Indeed. Which doest thou desire? To my liking? Approach your king. Kingdom come. My will be done. Dolphin smash. Crest guard. Barracuda spin. Big wave. Rude. Once I make it back to Ocean Prince, he's still really hard. His chains aren't that big, but they're big enough. 
Something similar happened in the last video where the chains were big enough and they were built quickly enough, so I couldn't build a chain big enough to counter without entering fever mode. Here, it's kind of the opposite problem. It happens quickly enough to where I don't have enough Puyo lined up to keep popping, and thus I lose. I have to take a hit, hope set hit doesn't hit too hard, then hope the field that I set has enough Puyo to pop when Ocean Prince strikes next. Chivalry is dead! Yeah, well I'm not. <laughs> so you see how stage 3 was that hard? Quite. Stage 4 being next, do you think it'd be harder, yeah? By all means! Believe it or not, I actually did this on my first try. Oh! I got fever mode started pretty early, but Taro Taro was actually able to pop enough Puyo to enter into fever mode himself. Which because he popped so many singles and I got good chains in fever, my fever time was really high, and I got into fever mode with a 26 second timer. When I'm used to 15 for the sake of the challenge run, 26 is a lot of time. And then afterwards he immediately lost. Anticlimactic, but honestly, it was kind of funny. Stage 6 is where things get... What? What? You can't count? 6 comes after 4, guys. Pretty common knowledge. Don't they teach you this stuff? Actually, doesn't Puyo Champions literally teach you how to count? If the game's in English now, you can learn that six comes after four. <laughs> totally. <laughs> yeah. This isn't this isn't four. Four. Five. Six. It's over for you. <sighs> okay, fine. You know what's coming. You, Ren! <laughs> you know what's coming. <laughs> You. So you all remember from last time when I got <laughs> pretty darn heated talking about you, the cheerful ghost from last time? Her being cheerful is relevant to my rage because she stacks her Puyo randomly, gets a lot of one chains, which means I had to hear Indeed! over and over and it took me well over an hour and a half to beat her and she drove me crazy and I really dread having to listen to Indeed a bunch of times, but you know, I'm indeed. the one who decided yes, to come indeed. back to yes, this indeed. game and this Lucky English Lucky. dub. Boo. Do your worst, Trick you. I'm ready for Hi. it. I, I, I beat her already? Indeedy! Huh. Oh well. And you know, that stupid bird from last time goes down without a fight, too. Oh, huh. I thought this was because, starting here, five different color Puyo drop instead of four, making it more likely for the Puyo piece that you need to pop. Which, I mean, isn't true normally, but it worked so well here, I figured, hey, maybe that was the case, right? Uh, going into the end game, I was not expecting much, especially with how easy you was, but... Miss Accord! Wow! Unlike last time, she puts up a really good fight. So sorry. The most frightening thing here is how random her AI is. Sometimes she's super aggressive, and other times she's very passive waiting to set off her chain. You have to adapt to her AI, because if you get too reckless, you deal damage outside of fever mode, and you have to start over. If you're too defensive, then, well, you die. Horrible. And your only option at that point is to start over. She never got to fever mode, but she didn't need to. She was pulling out some pretty impressive looking chains, but in the end, she's still beatable and not nearly as difficult as Popoy. Unfortunately, there's not much to say on why. Papoy is pretty much the same as Miss Accord, just taken to a much larger extreme. And since Miss Accord can be beaten, it stands to reason that Papoy folds much in the same way. Uh, no Carbuncle this time, devious monster that he is. But on the bright side, hey, it is possible to clear Puyo Pop Fever by only dealing damage in Fever Mode. Some final notes before we close out the video for good. First, I was complaining about the controls in the last video, and while most of my complaints still stand, I mentioned that Puyo sometimes rotated the wrong way. I, I swear that this happened, but it seems to just be a me thing. Not, It's not what most people experience when they play Puyo Pop Fever, even on the GameCube. While it's annoying, at the very least, it's only a problem in this game for one person. Other Puyo games don't give me this issue. Second, believe it or not, I do see myself coming back to this game for another challenge run somewhere down the line. More to come. I kind of want to try tackling a different Puyo game at some point, but there's just something about Fever that really sticks out to me. 
It's style, it's characters, it's horrendous dub. I know it controls poorly, and there are many better versions of Puyo out there, but I don't know, I just really dig Fever for some reason. I don't like it, but it resonates with me, you know? If anything, I may visit Fever 2, since not only does that game control way better, but it has a much better look to it, and a lot more of the classic Fever characters are in it. No dub, though. I mean, come on, where else am I going to use these voice clips? Especially if there's no dub. Indeed! And last, but not least, I'm sure you've noticed what's been going on in the background. I figured it'd be fun, and really stressful, to put the game on easy mode and go through the very first battle and see if you could clear that by only doing damage and fever. Turns out, I did both of my challenge runs at once. I didn't deal damage outside of fever, and I didn't even enter fever mode at all. If I play much more of this game, I'm gonna get a fever. <laughs> Good morning! Have you got a fever?